Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we're going to be doing another Forzathon guide. This week's Forzathon, called Group B, revolves around using the 1987 Porsche 959 which is an incredibly cool retro supercar. Now of course you will need to tune it up for the latter challenges but first of all we're going to take a look at the car which will cost you around 400,000 credits but you can pick them up cheaper in the auction house if you search for a little bit. Um, as you can see this one's got 1441 brake horsepower uh, and the reason is I've tuned it uh, using the Porsche 918 hybrid twin turbo engine uh, so this is an absolute animal and of course it's already all-wheel drive uh, so you've got no worries there now the first challenge wants you to win three dirt trail events now as it said there it said trail so first of all you're going to want to search through the dirt series races uh, and you don't want to do the ones that are circuits so also known as scrambles you want to do the trails which are just point to point sprint races uh, to which there's quite a lot of them but because obviously you've got to do it three times, if you come up here to the Glen Rannock Trail, you will see that I've created a race just for you guys. Uh, as I have the past few Forzathons, all you have to do is search my gamer tag, which is Steza01, all capitals, or type in the name of the race, which is Forzathon EZ, also known as Easy. Um, and the reason is we've got to do three races. I want to help you guys get this done as quickly as possible. So as you can see, I've created my own small route, uh, which is very, very simple, very, very quick and easy to do uh, and all you've got to do once you've won is go back redo the route and then do it two more times and win all three times very very quick very easy challenge there now the next one wants you to win two street scene events now this one we can't shortcut unfortunately um, but if you search through the street scenes uh, you you might have your favorite one uh, but my personal favorite is the bathroom gate one uh, because it's actually a fairly quick one now being street scene uh, for some peculiar reason because this car's X-Class, I'm somehow racing up against Ford Focus RSs and Audi TTs. I don't know what the hell happened there. I know it's quite a common occurrence. I'm sure you guys see it a lot if you ever use an X-Class car. But it is what it is. It happens. Um, if you're struggling with the street scene races, remember you can always turn down the difficulty. The good thing about these Forzathon challenges is it doesn't matter what difficulty you are on. Uh, as long as you win that's all that matters uh, so you can do it on expert or you can do it on novice it's entirely down to yourself i'm tend to be on expert uh, but as you can see the tunes handle itself quite well here uh, and ignore the fact that i'm in the snow i've recorded this in the previous season um, basically all it is so it'll probably be a bit easier in the season to come that this challenge will actually be in but all you have to do is win two street scene events it can be the same street scene event um, twice it's up to you now the final challenge wants you to earn 10 ultimate near miss skills. This is actually very, very easy. Uh, to do this, I recommend going onto the motorway uh, and also going into Horizon Solo. The reason is there is more AI cars to sort of miss, basically, uh, and being the motorway, there's always loads. Now, the best way I recommend doing it uh, is a bit of a daredevil way, uh, and it's by driving on the wrong side of the road uh, to get the ultimate near miss skill. The reason being, if you're coming from behind a car and you get a near miss skill, you have to be going over 240 mile an hour for it to be an ultimate one. Whereas if you're on the other side of the road, all you have to be doing is about 180, 190 to get that near miss skill and it will be an ultimate one. So it actually makes life a lot easier driving on the opposite side of the road facing oncoming traffic. Trust me, it works very, very well and you'll get those 10 ultimate near, near miss skills in literally 30 seconds to a minute, if that. Anyway guys, I hope this has helped you out. If it has, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Um, especially if you're new to the channel as well. And if you're struggling with anything, please say so in the comments and I will help you out as best as I can. Anyway, guys, thank you for all the support. I hope you enjoyed. All the best and take care.